so you can see even on the new part of the fence that they're rebuilding here recently uh, a lot of messages already I know there were probably 10 people yesterday within we were here within like just one hour there were 10 people that showed up a lot of different messages there's ours right there as you get closer to the center of the Vibretta Park I think that's how you pronounce it uh, there's messages on trees uh, there's messages on both benches and little trails everywhere that go to different sections of the fence here's one trail it's pretty neat it's like its own little paradise in here uh, along the way also you'll find bunch of different guitar picks laying around everywhere from fans uh, beer bottles There's actually a couple lights on over there right now you can sort of see inside a couple of the windows and up on the balcony there There's Kurt Cobain's front door. There's the new garage where Courtney had it rebuilt according to the way it was back in the day. She found some pictures in the attic. The empty space is where the old one was where Kurt passed. There's actually a big, really big four-leaf clover patch over there. Some of the biggest four-leaf clovers I've ever seen. Right back over that way. <clears throat> I'm going to go get one and take it home with me. But uh, you can actually see lights on and everything. <laughs> really, really crazy. <laughs> Love you, Kurt. Miss you, buddy. Uh... I wish you wouldn't have got taken from us. I'm standing by this tree, babe, so I can get a picture of you. Huh? I'm standing by this tree. Yeah, I want to show you guys how big this this tree is. Uh, right here, across from Kurt Cobain's house. Wow. Somebody hung a dream catcher up. That's pretty cool. But you can just see how massive this tree is. What a beautiful place. I mean, just what an amazing place. Uh, I know it doesn't sound right, but he died right, right over there, and it's just such a yeah, true. And it's just such a beautiful place, though, right next door that people, fans from across the world have to remember Kurt Cobain by. It's just really cool. And you really can't see it from right here, but the fence goes along the property line all the way. And what it does, it just goes all the way down, all the way over here to the front gate. And there's just messages that cover this fence 
all the way around. I'll show you the front gate here in a minute. I was looking for four leaf clovers and then happened to stumble upon this little skull. Somebody must have left the curtain. Hmm. One of the two massive red trees, redwood trees. There's the big one, the biggest one. Uh, by Retta Park, you can see the little stairway. It goes up. There's an upper upper level right there. Uh, here's one of the famous benches. And like I said, yesterday we were here for probably an hour, and there was at least ten people that showed up. And today, we've been here for about 30 minutes or so, and there's already been five or six people show up. We placed that little stone there yesterday. Uh, as well as, you can see the heart cart, B plus K 2021. You have to park right beside the uh, hill, right in the road pretty much. There's really no parking spots or anything, but everybody does pretty much uh, just go around you. Uh, a lot of foot traffic, a lot of bicycle traffic. There's the other bench over there. And let's go check out the front gate, Kurt Cobain's house. So this is walking out of the park. And you step right down here onto a little sidewalk. And take a few more steps this way. And you will see the world famous driveway of Kurt Cobain's last residence. Uh, like I said, undergoing a lot of construction right now. Still very, very awesome. Give you a little peek here. Yep. Okay. I've heard stories of people actually making drop offs and stuff for Kurt right here uh, in these bushes. Maybe those bushes. Either way, uh, right across the road, you can see part of Lake Washington. Uh, very beautiful view. There's also a park down that way and a park up that way that you can get right down by the lake on. Right, it's not right. Very, very cool. All right, guys, this is uh, Kurt Cobain's house, 2021, as well as his grave and the last place he took a breath of air at. Love you, Kurt. Rest in peace, brother.